Samsung's electronic headquarters. From phones to appliances, such as refrigerators and microwaves, the technology giant is full of innovative ideas. In this video, we're going to show inside Samsung's gigantic $300 million digital city. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. The Samsung Digital City is located in Suwon, South Korea, 13 miles south of the country's capital city of Seoul. The company employs 320,000 people across the globe, shipping over a billion smartphones in recent years. Few people know about the $300 million facilities where almost 35,000 people work every day. Lee Byung-chul, the founder of Samsung, decided to re-establish the company in Suwon after inventories in Seoul were damaged. Samsung Digital City is actually considered part of the Samsung Digital Valley, which consists of manufacturing, research and development complexes in Suwon, Yongin and Hwasung. Both Yongin and Hwasung are only four kilometers away from Suwon. Samsung provided much of the infrastructure in the cities as they grew in order to provide a space for their employees to create new products. The development of the Digital Valley has become an important part of South Korea's economy, as Samsung and its suppliers provide over 70,000 jobs in the Digital Valley alone. In the first quarter of 2019, Samsung shipped 71.9 million smartphone units, compared to Apple and Huawei, which shipped 36.4 million and 59.1 million respectively. Samsung's digital city in Suwon is a place of technological innovation. The campus includes many high-tech spaces for working, designing and research. The chamber looks like something out of a science fiction movie, but it is allegedly where the latest Galaxy phones are tested and an anechoic chamber silences any sound and eliminates electromagnetic radiation, so researchers can test the audio quality and performance of new smartphones. A sound lab provides space for sound designers to create ringtones and alerts using musical equipment. The sound lab also features a voice booth, where the voice of Bixby, Samsung's virtual assistant in smartphones, is recorded. The sound a phone makes when it's plugged into an outlet and the sound a refrigerator makes after being left open for too long all come from the sound lab. The most innovative place in Samsung Digital City is the C Lab. Any employee can apply to enter the C-Lab regardless of job title and experience. All they have to do is submit an idea through the online ideas platform. Employees who come up with a winning idea then refine a prototype in the lab until they are field tested. At the end of the process, ideas are eventually deemed fit for the market. Samsung supports employees if they want to begin a separate, independent, managed company focusing on their successful C-Lab project. This process is actually outlined in the company policy. Samsung supports the startup with seed money and typically retains a minority stake in the new business. Over 250 successful projects have been developed since the C-Lab opened in 2013. Projects include a mini printer that prints photos and memos without any ink or toner, a thermal imaging camera for firefighters to use during rescue operations, and wearable software that helps the visually impaired see outlined objects and people. The C-Lab is providing a startup culture within the company which makes Samsung different from some of its top competitors. Samsung's digital city also includes collaboration spaces, 150 video conference rooms, a 700-seat auditorium, and a co-working lab with a thousand meeting rooms. Garage areas help engineers to develop their digital cockpit project, a digital dashboard that allows for greater situational awareness in rain or heavy traffic. The digital cockpit will also be connected to technology that is not strictly automobile related. Drivers can access maps, play music, stream videos and control aspects of their home, such as the temperature of the living room and the interior of the refrigerator. The Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology provides a space for engineers to work on wearable robotic technology. 
Samsung is extremely dedicated to taking care of its employees, as there is not a large welfare state in South Korea that takes care of its citizens' needs. So, Samsung is incredibly attractive to workers. There's a free healthcare service in Samsung Digital City. Samsung's Digital City looks like a gleaming metropolis in Suwon, South Korea. The campus boasts some of the latest technology from Samsung in a space dedicated to creativity and ingenuity. Bright workspaces, clean parks, and welfare benefits such as health insurance and public transportation provide many of the modern luxuries of a South Korea whose welfare state is just beginning to emerge, making it attractive for many South Koreans who are qualified for the high-tech, fast-paced jobs in the company. Kim Hyun Suk, the president and CEO of the Consumer Electronics Division at Samsung Electronics, has made the comment that Samsung is trying to encourage creativity at all levels of the company, rather than operating under top-down directives as they have in the past. Samsung is one of the many companies trying to get in on the 5G game, and they have a designated area to develop its 5G technology. The Samsung 5G City is an outdoor park where 5G network equipment is tested before rolling it out in South Korea and the United States. Samsung's digital city is where many of the innovative ideas we see and use in everyday life originate. This space that is conducive to creativity allows Samsung engineers to quickly roll out new products. The facility spans 390 acres and includes four office towers that are up to 38 floors high. 131 smaller buildings provide space for offices, recreational areas, laboratories, and a guest house for any researchers visiting the area. All regular and non-regular employees receive social insurance, which covers a national pension, health insurance, employment insurance, and occupational health and safety insurance. Athletic facilities host some of Samsung Digital City's 490 sports clubs. There is a huge gym on the campus along with 10 basketball courts, four badminton courts, three soccer courts, two baseball diamonds, and even a 30-foot tall rock climbing wall. Swimming classes are offered during the day in the Digital City's Olympic-sized swimming pool. Employees can relax, rest, sleep, and chat in designated areas across the facility, and expecting mothers can enjoy their own dedicated relaxation rooms. The company does not stop at taking care of its employees' physical health, however. The company provides over 9,000 umbrellas for people to use on the campus. Sometimes, at the expense of their quality, for example, in 2016, Samsung faced a gigantic fiasco involving its Galaxy Note 7. The company was forced to recall the phones after some phones began bursting into flames when they were charging. Shares in Samsung plunged 7% after the debacle. Another example comes from early 2019, when Samsung began selling its new folding phone called the Galaxy Fold. The product was rushed to market, and it showed defective hinges and broken screens, and these were some of the complaints early reviewers made. Samsung pulled the phone off the market, changed its design, and launched a new and improved version in South Korea in September of 2019. Open spaces on the campus often become stages for performances that include string quartets, rock concerts, and dances. Employees can participate in over 650 employee clubs that focus on many interests, including paragliding, cooking, photography, and Korean folk painting. Employees can choose from 92 different menus to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Samsung Digital City serves over 72,000 meals every day, and employees eat for free. The cafeteria seats over 4,100 people, and it also provides a way for Samsung to give back to Suwon. Produce in the cafeteria comes from Suwon's neighborhoods, which links Samsung with the farmers who live nearby. If menus do not suit an employee, then international food and beverage outlets such as Dunkin' Donuts add to the range of food options in the digital city. Over 150 teachers care for the children of the Samsung employees during work hours, 
These teachers provide kindergarten classrooms for the children of employees. Children are not the only ones who learn during the workday. However, the workers at Samsung can visit a massive library to learn and brainstorm ideas. The campus also has a family day for their employees and their families. During this event, the digital city looks more like a theme park than a hub of innovation, where Samsung families can ride go-karts and enjoy a day of fun on the campus. Samsung Digital City is also home to a helicopter pad and free buses and trains for all their employees, with a total number of vehicles in the hundreds. Employees don't even have to worry about figuring out how to get somewhere across campus. Samsung has 500 shuttle buses that travel to 103 different places. Samsung is notoriously secretive about the areas they invent their newest technology in, and employees and visitors must walk through metal detectors when they enter or leave buildings, and they must scan ID cards before entering labs and other workspaces. Samsung is perpetually in crisis mode, meaning that they are always anticipating change. While this cycle pays off big when it's successful, it can also backfire spectacularly when it fails. As Samsung continues its development of smartphones and other electronics, the world will have to watch to see what comes next from the technology. That's all for today, everyone. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications.